growing up as a kid, before the internet, the way we were entertained was through comics. You had comics from the DC universe, from the Marvel universe, and we were entertained by superheroes at that time, Superman, Batman, Thor. And if you notice, all of these superheroes had something in common. Superheroes always wore capes. But post DC, Justice League, post Marvel and the Avengers, there's a new superhero in the world. And this new superhero doesn't wear capes. Instead, this new superhero wears a mask, carries hand sanitizers, and his superpower is staying at home. By staying at home, they save lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the new evil enemy that this new superhero is facing is not somebody like the Joker or the Mr. Freeze. The new enemy is really, really vicious. It's a virus named COVID-19. It doesn't care where you live. It doesn't care how old you are. It doesn't care what you do. It doesn't care what language you speak or what God you pray to. All it wants to do is infect you and put you through a really painful process. If you're lucky to survive, you'll still be on a ventilating machine for a few days and then survive and come out. But you could also be in a situation where you are in pain, have difficulty breathing and pass on without having family around you. And the superheroes that are facing this are our frontliners in hospital, the doctors and nurses, and they are wearing masks, hand sanitizers, and other things. But they have one thing they can't do, staying at home, because they have to help others. What can we do to, do the, to use our superpowers? Staying at home is something that the government has suggested because they want to break the chain of infection and they want to say flatten the curve. This virus is really really bad because it can infect somebody around you without that person even knowing it that they are infected. There are no some in some cases there are no symptoms at all. You can go around and see your friends and family and infect them. So what the government is trying to do is to break the chain so that the infection doesn't happen. For two weeks at least, or three weeks, stay at home, and if symptoms appear, you only affect a certain amount of people or a certain population. So what this MCO, or Movement Control Order, is trying to do is helping others. We are trying to help more Malaysians or people in the world by saving their lives by staying at home. By staying at home, we are able to break this chain of infection. And this is a superpower because by staying at home, by wearing masks, by trying to break the chain, by flattening the curve, we don't have to wear capes and we are able to kill this enemy or destroy this enemy so that it cannot do what it wants to do, which is kill more people and infect more people. Now, if we do this, it is not easy. Staying at home for one week, two weeks may sound like a holiday, but as you all know, it's been extended twice. Now we are into more than a month of staying at home. It can be challenging being around people that you love 24 seven, with no privacy of your own sometimes. It can be stressful, and in some situations, it has been dangerous for uh, people that live in an abusive household. So staying at home, although sounds like it's nothing much, something comfortable, a vacation, can also be dangerous for some people. It can be stressful. It can also cause us to start wondering what to do or what to do when we wake up. It can cause depression. It can cause us to feel that we have no purpose in life. So although that this is a superpower that we're using it, as they said to Spider-Man, sometimes with great power comes great responsibility. So this great power of staying at home to flatten the curve, to break the chain, to save more lives, to kill this virus, 
the responsibility is upon us to be able to take this, to find ways to entertain ourselves, to find ways to build our relationship with our family members, to interact with others, or even reach out to social media, to web conferencing, to the internet, to touch base with other people. Now we can do this, if we can continue using our superpower by staying at home, soon we will be able to go out, enjoy the sunset, the breeze on our face, maybe even the rain on our shoulders, and seeing our friends, family, members that are far away. We can have our dinners together in places that we like and enjoy companionship of our friends again. We can go back to work and find more purpose there and help more people. This is what we can do only if we continue using our superpower of staying at home, wearing our mask and keeping our uh, hands and hands clean and using sanitizers. So I call upon you, I know that it's tough, but I call upon your strength and your superpower. No matter what it is, stay at home. We have until the April 28th to use our powers and save lives.